Welcome to my channel today, Sunday evening, and the weather has been very, very hot uh, for the last uh, few weeks. So, you know, usually when it's hot, you lose appetite, you don't want to eat anything. So, I decided I want to make some salsa. Okay, so this is kind of like I learned it from my good friend, my late good friend, uh, Adriana. Uh, she is making Mexican salsa. So here are the ingredients. So I slice some mango. Usually they don't put mango, they just put tomato, um, cucumber, and then uh, onions, all diced, the same size. And then we have salamansi in my refrigerator. And I have some jalapeno. Let me check. So I have some jalapeno. I have that Filipino calamansi. I have the lemon or lime. Lime tastes so good too with this uh, salsa. And then onions. And I can't wait till I taste... These tomatoes, I harvest it from my little tomato garden uh, and then my cucumber. So, and usually I put cooked shrimp, but we will use my imitation crab, guys, okay? So I will dice this same sizes, um, my tomatoes, can't wait till I use it. Like what I said, I got it in my garden. And then my cucumber. So let me show you guys when I'm done. Mix it together. Here we are guys. I'm trying to mix it as we go. So here is my... I mix it already. I'm putting it in a bigger bowl. Now I'm slicing my jalapeno. I don't like it too spicy. I um, can't handle too much uh, uh, hot pepper. So usually I take the seeds out, most of them, because that's the one that is very spicy. I'm cutting it the same size, dicing it the same size as all the, same as all the ingredients that I have. So that's one. Maybe I should do the, the big one. This big one, I'm not gonna get the seeds out. See how spicy it is. I'm not done cutting my tomatoes. Uh, I just started doing this, I don't know. <laughs> so see I have uh, some pepper too in my little vegetable garden but it's not ready yet so I have to get the one that I have in my refrigerator I usually use this for sinigang okay I can't wait I love this um, salsa especially you know when you don't have any appetite because of this weather you don't feel like eating any pasta or or rice i don't eat a lot of rice i got used to it if i'm craving for carbs or rice i use quinoa um, it's lesser carbs so now i'm cutting my harvest uh, tomatoes this is the Roma tomatoes this is from my garden this way I'll take the seeds out some of the seeds I'll take it out we're not supposed to eat a lot of 
seeds. Let me take it out. So, there you go. I'm not too happy with this uh, Roma tomatoes because uh, they're not really that big. Uh, but I'm very happy with the regular tomatoes that I just harvested because it's really good. I tried it. Uh, okay. This is the other big tomatoes that I picked from my garden. See how nice it is, guys? It's good with um, when you're eating hamburger or vegetable, uh, veggie hamburger with your fresh tomatoes or put it in your salad. Taking the seeds out. I wanna, seems like my tomato is not enough. So I have to, trying to save that big tomatoes for my sandwich, but I have another one. And then there's more that is getting ripe anyway. See? God, it's so good. I love this one. Uh, I don't have to eat anything if I eat this. Just don't have any appetite at all. Um, can't think of anything to eat. I'm not craving for anything. Um, so I decided I want to use do this so in case maybe I will be really satisfied with this one when I used to work I used to bring this there you go and finally got an uh, onion diced onion too guys You just mix it all together. And then my final one is the imitation crab. I'm not gonna put a lot. Usually you put uh, fresh cilantro. I went to the Mexican store and they just have cilantro. And I don't wanna go to another store. I'm so lazy, it's so hot outside. So, all right then finally my lime lime tastes so good with the, um, this recipe so guys here I'm gonna squeeze it guys when you do this it's really recommended to use lime, not lemon. Because there's a different taste, lime and lemon. Ooh, One more, guys. Okay. This is so good too when you're making a uh, leche plan. You just uh, shave the skin. Tastes so good with the leche plan. Okay, guys, here's my imitation crab instead of shrimp. Usually, I like it better because it doesn't uh, taste too fishy. Not like when you put shrimp, you know. Sometimes the taste will stick to all the ingredients. So I like this better. I won't put a lot. And then it's, it's, it's the same thing. Uh, cut it in pieces, like dice it. And then uh, I'll mix it, guys. So now, I'm gonna put 
calamansi. Let's see. See how it tastes. First time that I'm gonna put calamansi, but you know, it's not gonna hurt to try. Remember I made, oh, let me wash my hand, guys. Guys, I'm gonna season it now. Usually, I season it with chicken bouillon. Chicken bouillon, but it's powder. It's powder, not the cubes. So, not too much. So, there you go. I'm mixing it now, guys. Let me show you the finished product when I'm done. Guys, look. Doesn't it look so refreshing, this salad? The only missing ingredients is the cilantro, which it's really important, but I can't find any. Most probably almost all the people here are making uh, this salsa because it's very refreshing. It's very healthy. Uh, it's all vegetable, you know, tomatoes, uh, mango, cucumber, and then onion and lime. So there's nothing unhealthy here. Guys, this is how you eat it. This salsa that I made. I have this white corn chips. And I eat it, just eat it like this, guys. Mm. So good. <coughs> It's very refreshing. Um, can't get tired of this. It's a little spicy for me. <clears throat> but it tastes so good. Mm. Mmm, delicious, guys. Mmm. It's so good. Very refreshing. You guys can do it at home. Especially in this kind of weather, I guess. Just show my little garden here. Look at my tomatoes. This is my tomatoes, guys. Yeah, look at this. There's so much there. Small ones there. Those are Roma tomatoes. And this is my very healthy okra. It has some seed. 
gonna start giving me okra.